Cuisine. In today's video, I'm going to be doing the same look on both eyes, but I'm going to be using different palettes in each one. Um, for each palette that I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using their own brushes, identical brushes. Just because I recently just got two packs of Morphe's Holiday Collection brush sets from Ulta. Because I had points. And a bunch of my brushes died when I recently cleaned them. So, I got brushes, so I have two sets of identical brushes. On one eye, I'm going to be doing the Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette. On the other eyes, I'm going to use ColourPop um, X Kathleen Lights Dream Street. Because, as another blogger, I'm, I'm pronouncing, I'm going to probably pronounce her name wrong, Always Lisa, um said this palette, which is Dream Street, looks very similar to Latte Palette. Not completely identical, but there's a good amount of tones that are the same between the two. So that is what we are going to do. I'm going to do the same look in the eye, but use different palettes to see how similar they are. Pixie, now that I am recording, is decided to bring in one of her loud squeaky toys. Good job. Love her. She's such a precious angel sometimes. Okay. Um, I'm not going to give you guys ink because I don't have a monitor yet to see what I'm kind of filming, but let's jump into it so we can see what we get. Alright, time to take off glasses. I'm blind, can't see anything, so this is going to be interesting. But I'm going to start off with Room K eyeshadow primer in Eden on both my lids. I cannot see what I'm doing, so if this isn't flawless. That is why I'll probably end up using the Dominique Cosmetic Palette, the Latte Palette, as my mirror, because it's going get closer, but it's not really that close. Because I need things, I just use Dream Street because it's smaller, about right here <laughs> to see anything, and a brush it needs way more space. So, I'm not going to see what I'm doing on either eye. But I'm going to start off with... This is not Spellsburg Morphe, I don't have to code Morphe, I just happen to have Morphe brushes. I'm using um, M330, and then I'm going to go with this shade right here, which is Magical, from the Dream Street palette. I'm just going to pick that up on my, my brush. I'm just going to use this guy as a mirror, so I can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to put that kind of everywhere. Well, not kind of everywhere, just basically. Just about everywhere. And then I'm going to take this under my eye as well. Just like that. So you're going to have a starting palette. Now I'm going to use the same brush style in the other set. And we're going to go in with a pumpkin spice, I think it's, well, let me swatch it. Is pumpkin spice, spice the similar one? Or is it caramel? Okay, so this one is caramel. This one is one from Clarepop, and then this one is Pumpkin Spice. I think Caramel's my close one. Though Pumpkin Spice is looking very similar to it as well. Let's start off with Caramel. On that M330. Yeah. Caramel. I'm just gonna do that in the same general shape. Oh, I went directly in my eye. Good job. And just kind of fluff it out on the bottom. Okay. That's where we're looking right now. I feel like I need just a bit of pumpkin spice. No, we're not going to do that yet. Okay. So next, we're going to go in with... Oh, no. I'm going to use the same brushes that came with that are from each set. I have them separated. Um, with this shade, which is Potion. I 
same brush. Or same, same general area. We're just gonna kind of move it kind of lower. There's a little bit on the other. My eye recently has not been wanting to blend there at all, like in any look I want to do. Okay. Then back to the other palette, we're gonna go with hazelnut, which is this shade. Same basic locations. I feel like. The ColourPop one is more warm tone, or orangey, and the other is a little bit more neutral. In comparison. Just looking at the two of them. I feel like I need pumpkin spice. Okay, I'm just gonna go in with a titch of pumpkin spice. Just kind of over that to see if we can get some of that warmth so they look the same. Okay. Not really, but that's what we're doing. You're seeing how somewhere they are. Alright. Next, let me go with a different brush. We go in specifically with I think this brush, which is the 433 brush. Then I'm going to go in with this dark shade right here, which is Elfish. I'm just going to put that on the tippy top of the brush. And then we're just going to put that, to pat it a little bit. Like this. I'm not trying to make it a certain shape or anything, I'm just kind of getting it in this area right here. And I'm going to smoke it a little bit on my lower lash line, like that. And then, I'm going to take the same brush on the other side. And we're going to use Mocha, which is this shade right here. This on the tip of the brush. Those have very different feels to them. Just like the whole look is basically, I feel like just very different between the two eyes so far. Like I'm noticing a difference between the two. But that's what I wanted to see was how similar these palettes actually were. Like I can't say that they're not, like they don't have the same basic color story in concept. They're both warm-ish neutrals with a blue. Okay, so that's where we're at right now. All right, so now we're gonna go in with this shade, which is Potion from the Kathleen Lights, and then I'm going to take a different brush, take this brush, which is the M321, with that shade, and I just want to add that here in this outer corner, where we put Elfish, but not completely, and then I'll take a brush to flip it out, and then underneath our lash line, just in this kind of outer section. And then, just while I'm still on the side, I'm gonna go back in with the M33 brush and Elfish. A bit on top. And then we go in with just a clean brush. This is the M429. And just blend that in a little bit. I 
don't think this brush is doing what I, I thought it did, so. That is on me. I thought this brush did something different. Alright, I'm gonna go back in with the very first brush and some of the, the shade Magical. I can't remember the name of the shade was. Just kind of on this outer section here to get it back how I wanted it, which was kind of lighter up here and then darker over here. And then I'm gonna go back in with this brush and some more elfish. I feel like it just lost that shade, which is not what I wanted. I'm just gonna use that same brush and grab a potion back. And then blend one more time. There we go. That is what I wanted. Wanted that look. Okay. Now I need to recreate that on the other side. So, I gotta do all the same mess up. So, we're gonna use that uh, 3321 and we're gonna have cold brew, which is the blue shade. Put it on the other side, which is too far up. Underneath about here. Then use the same brush that we're currently using to go back in with mocha. To blend that in. And then go back with some more cold brew on just the outer portion, like that. Grab the first brush and caramel, buff it out here, and then just do once over. Grab this brush, which was the um, three. 33. Do that. Same brush. Other side. Put cold brew. Alright, we're looking somewhere. There we go. Alright, next I want shimmer in here. So, I need to find what shimmers correspond. I have a shimmer here. Shimmer here. Are we the same shimmer? Or are you the same shimmer? Let's find out. Okay, so this is option A, option B, main. Okay, so these two are color pop. I don't know if you guys can see these. Why don't you try layering them real quick? Let me see if that's. Okay, those two layered seem right. This one I grab. Cold brew. Okay, so cold brew and that shade. Yeah, okay. We got the shades. Alright, so we're gonna use this shade right here, which is spark. And I'm just going to not taking on my finger because my fingers are very dirty. Just realized why I shouldn't have used that one brush when I use that one brush. Alright, we're gonna grab this color switch real quick and just get off of the previous. Then we're gonna take this shade, which was Spark. I already said that. And then I'm gonna use some Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I swear I'm not trying to use just Morphe products. I don't have a code. You can use Animal Love, I know, for, for Morphe. Which, also, when you use that code, it donates to animal shelters. Or, I mean, it's a society, I can't remember which. But it helps out a good cause. So, if you want to do that code, I made nothing on it. But, that's the code I use, because it helps out animals when you purchase your puppy. So, yeah. Just using Spark. 
I really want to use my fingers, but I'm trying not to. For no reason in particular. I just don't want to use my fingers. There we go. That is one side. I need to color switch with brush from the other side. It's not cleanish. And then we're using creme brulee, which is this shade. I'm gonna do the same thing with the Morphe Continue Sanctuary. Now we're just going to do it on this eye. It's just so much cooler. It's not, they're not identical, which is kind of what's bothering me. Like, I like both looks, I'm not gonna lie. They're just different tones, basically. I feel like this one's cool tone versus this one's warm tone. And I'm doing the same look on both eyes. And I don't think anyone else really, like, is going to be able to tell. This I have followed on. Okay. You know, my shapes are still the same. Still looking the same-ish. I just need to clean up the fallout. I haven't used this. No, that's not going to use a brush. I need a brush. I need a brush that doesn't really have anything. I'm going to use this one real quick. Just to fluff that away. Just fluff that away on that side. And I'm just gonna take some concealer to clean that up a little bit. Make sure that it's off, nice and good. I have to put it back on my highlight on that side, but that's okay. Actually, do I? Yeah, I do. I just got rid of my highlight. Good job! Good job, me. I have on the Urban Decay Afterglow in Sin. I'll just bump this side up a little bit. There you go. Okay. Not cheating. Same thing both sides. Okay. Uh, lastly, I'm just going to use the 574. Oh no, I need to find that. Do I have the shade? Wait, okay, we're just gonna do Macchia Macchiato, which is this shade right here on that brush. Something just went in my eye. And I'm gonna put that, after I spray it, of course, into my inner corner and a bit under my eye. Just you know, make that inner corner pop. Then maybe the same thing on the other side. But I'm going to use this shade, which is Mermaid Boy. Which is way different feel. We're gonna make it, it's not gonna work. This is like a bluish green undertone and this one does not have like that at all. So you can see they're quite different on the inner corner. That really throws away that it's not the same palette on both eyes. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Next to me, same layer on both eyes. Do kind of a cat wing, a small one with the NYX Epic Ink Black Eyeliner. And I'm keeping it to the inside. It's really small. I'm doing this eye first because it's always my bad eye. There we go. And I'm going to do that on the same on the other side.
I can't. <laughs> it's like hitting my own arm and trying to get to the mirror where I can see what I'm doing. I have really fluffed up this side. Do the process. I think those are somewhat even. Mascara! I'm gonna do Essence Volume Stylus Curl and Hold. It's been my hair forever. mentioned it. The eye look that I'm doing is very similar to one that um, Made You Look by Lex did recently. That's where I kind of got the inspo for. The look aspect, I think she used the Modern Dreamer palette to do hers. And hers was like red toned. But I really like the shape. That's what I wanted to do. I really just wanted to do like a Made you, follow the Made You Look with thing by Lex like video video but now it's like I'm gonna do shimmer which isn't at all what she did but the shape wise this is what I remember her doing okay so there is the mascara and then I just want accent lashes like Lex did so I'm gonna come in to my as I've done the little cosmetics lash collection set and then take a pair of legendary lash, not legendary, irresistible lashes that I cut in half and then I kind of stacked them. So they don't go all the way across. These are like my favorite ones to wear. If I'm going to wear it, I normally don't wear false lashes. Like on a daily basis, like almost always for Instagram I put them on, but I don't generally wear false lashes on my daily life. But if I do decide to wear them, I put these ones on. They're cut up irresistible ones. I can show you as a full pair because I do have a set of the full ones in case I ever wanted to go with the, the full one, which I used to use this one, like the full one all the time. And then I cut it in half and I fell in love with it, cut in half and stacked. And I haven't gone back since. They're kind of my little custom ones, but I do have an affiliate code with these guys. It is May 10. They get you 10% off your purchase on their website. And then, I don't know if I have, men I have it in the description box, but um, a portion of all of the um, purchases from their website actually goes towards um, cancer research. Which I think is very cool. Helps people out. So, I like using codes or sites and stuff that like to donate to causes. Because I think we should get back and help out other people. So, or animals. So, yeah. He doesn't have my codes, but I'm just sharing codes since I have code with these ones, for instance. And then the Morphe one, I, I don't have one, but if you want to use one, you don't want to give an influencer the money that it's not going to use it for anything besides a new house or something. There's one that gives to animal charity, so there's that. I don't know if it's like, and if someone like has it with Morphe and then they just decide to give some of theirs to animal thing or that's one Morphe just made for that. I just want one gives to animal rescues. So that's one I use. All right, there we go. We are out of Conus. And that is the finished look of the comparison between the two. Uh, if I had to comment how similar they are, I think I've already mentioned how not similar they are. Like it's the same look on both eyes. They have the same feel between the blues and the red tone, the orange, orangey tones in here. Yeah, so they are 
kind of similar, but not really. I need to put glasses on so I'm not staring at blurs. So there we go. <laughs> but that is the comparison kind of try on of these two palettes. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, give this video a big old pause up, subscribe to join the haul pack. And in the next video, I think I'm going to just do one of me rearranging my bedroom for no reason. I just feel like if I don't film it, I'm not going to do it. And I don't know, I'm in the mood to rearrange my room. So I'm going to do it after this. So I'm going to film it and then we'll post it maybe. I don't know. I said I want to try some different things on the channel and I haven't yet done it since I said I was going to do that. So we're going to do it. I just don't know what we're even doing or if it's even possible which is why I'm going to film it because I think it'd be funny or interesting or I don't know but yeah that will be coming in a few days from when this video is posted I think or it's the other way around I don't know yet but yeah hope you guys enjoyed it 